Howdy friends, I know it's been a while since we've put out a video and that is my fault being the chief uh, video guy and editor. I do apologize. We have been staying busy though. First of all, I had major back surgery about six months ago, titanium rods, discs, all that stuff and I'm in recovery and I'm doing pretty well. I'm walking better. I'm actually able to walk across the yard without tripping so really great stuff going on there. Um, also. We've been staying busy. My wife has become a full-on hippie with crystals and incense and cleaning me with sage and all kinds of stuff. I'm sure she can't wait to tell you about it. We've also been designing our own line of clothes. This is one of the shirts. I mean, it's beautiful. We're doing women's clothes and dresses and shoes and Hawaiian shirts, all kinds of cool stuff. You can find it on our website. And I wrote a book. This channel was primarily started because we wanted to keep in touch with our friends and family and the people we have met along the way. And it's it's actually a negligence that I haven't been putting out videos. I do apologize. That being said, we had a recent election here in this country and there is so much division in America. It's crazy. Like the despair that we are seeing online from some people that are just, and young people uh, that are just absolutely beside themselves about this election and while we are not upset with the results of the election I hate to see people in so much pain it, it, they really have no hope f for the future and there's good reason for that I mean let's face it the 36 trillion dollars in debt as a nation I'm not sure that anyone can solve that problem it uh, maybe maybe not but it doesn't seem like people have been really paying attention to it and and overall, I mean, if you think about it, this generation, this younger generation trying to buy a house, trying to live a life, the inflation so high and the dollar has lost like 50% of its buying power in just the past few decades, it's really bad. So the question is, how do you turn it around? And remember when I said I wrote a book? I did. I'm a Bitcoiner. I have been for years. And I am happy to see where Bitcoin is at at this stage. And basically everyone that we've come across that will listen in the last uh, few years of our travel, I've told them, you should really think about buying Bitcoin. So I'm going to tell all of you out there, it's not too late. I, I've had that question. I remember Bitcoin was up to like 60,000 in 2021, 60 some odd thousand. Uh, some people bought uh, I've run across people on my journey who have said, oh, is it too late when it dropped down to 20, when it dropped down to 16,000? And I kept telling them, no, it's not too late. This is a major asset that is going to millions of dollars a, a coin at some point, probably in your lifetime, for sure in your children's lifetimes. But I imagine in the next 10 years, the next decade, anybody that's thinking about wanting to retire, anybody that's a little concerned about, are they going to take Social Security away? Are they going to cut the program? Uh, what's going to happen because I'm sure some if there is going to be some effort to solve the debt spiral that America finds itself in there's going to have to be some measure of austerity and I'm not sure where that's going to come from cutting departments but nonetheless it's going to come a point where it's going to be like we are so broke we have to start cutting programs so I know there's a lot of angst out there especially from the young generation who has, has felt left behind and so I'm telling you right now Bitcoin, this book, I wrote this book for people like my mom, people like my children. There's a lot of uh, people out there that do not understand why Bitcoin is so valuable. And I go over that in my book, what makes money, what makes Bitcoin money, what makes it a hard asset, all these things I discuss. But I also uh, philosophically talk about some things like the, you know, th there's a lot of people that feel hopeless in America. But think about the world. There's like 1.5 billion people globally who can't even get a bank account. Their countries are so impoverished that they are constantly worry about where where's my next meal coming from? And I know people in the US are starting to worry about stuff like that too. But regardless, I mean, no matter how bad you think you have it, there are, there are women without any rights in the world out there. There is just so much control, authoritarian control can exerted over people all over the world. I think mainly it has a, a lot to do with the lack of availability to people, to bank accounts. Imagine not being able to use a bank account to 
uh, when you <laughs> to make any money and put money into the bank so you can write a check for your rent or whatever, there's people out there that are living like that. Bitcoin does solve that problem because all these currencies, fiat currencies around the world are, are dying. America, the dollar, even though it's lost so much buying power and we're seeing all this inflation, it's still the strongest currency in the world. And I actually believe Bitcoin could save the US dollar and the global economy, particularly if they do use a strategic reserve. But I know a lot of people might dismiss me as a lunatic and a maniac, and believe me, my friends have, but I wrote this book step by step for my family, for my children, for my friends that do not understand why Bitcoin is so valuable. I even go into, uh, I, I talk about Bitcoin versus gold, Bitcoin versus the US dollar. There's a lot of great information, easy to understand. And I would encourage you if you're interested in learning more, first of all, you don't have to buy my book. Just ask me a question, leave comments in, in the video below and I will answer everybody because I'm not just about selling the book, I'm about I always have been, and anybody that's met me on the road knows this. I'm always about just trying to get people to understand Bitcoin. I believe in this project. I know, actually, I don't believe in it. I know, I, I mean, the math, you just gotta follow the math and the, the finite supply of it. And the idea that now you have all these traditional institutions in America that are, in, in Wall Street is here, baby, and it's going nowhere but up. And then you're going to start seeing more and more governments that are going to start stacking it because they are starting to realize that when you're able to monetize energy the way that Bitcoin does, you see massive advancements in humanity. And I think uh, if you do not understand it, you should go check out some Michael Saylor videos. He's the one that really inspired me, particularly on the energy aspect of Bitcoin. You know, you, you go back to the days when we would farm and till land just to survive and work and toil the ground. You know, humanity's come a long way, but when we were able to get to agriculture and tractors, you saw this massive adjustment when it comes to prosperity. Why? Because we converted human energy into energy with machines. Well, first with uh, uh, animals like oxen, horse and whatever, but then it was to tractors, machines, and every major agricultural advance, advancement equals prosperity. Think about it. You still use energy to get groceries. You put gas in your, in your tank, you drive to the store. All the groceries in that store were produced somewhere using a massive amount of energy, and then they had to ship it using more energy. The store has to keep the lights on energy. So you have all this energy that used to be human energy and, the, and through all the technical advancements that we've had over the years and mechanical advancements, we've converted that human energy and we've condensed that energy. And even though it seems like a massive amount of energy is used to run a grocery store and to get all the products and all the manufacturing and everything that takes place, it's still less energy than it used to take humankind just to eat every day. That's amazing. It's, it's the same thing that happens in anything when it comes to the industrial revolution. And like I said, Michael Saylor, if you're not familiar, you need to watch some of his videos. This guy is the king of Bitcoin and it's hard to watch his video and not walk away and think, wow, I better start investing right now. But I, I think my book will also help. So, hey, listen, we'll be doing more videos. I appreciate you letting me go onto this rant, but all those liberals out there that are feeling so hopeless and in such despair, uh, I do not relish in, in watching you in so much pain, but I will, I will tell you right now, you want hope for your future. You want to be able to afford a house in the future. You want to be able to uh, be comfortable and you want to be able to invest in something. I, I, would, I would encourage you to understand Bitcoin, read a few books, watch a few videos, spend some time understanding why this asset is so valuable, why Wall Street and why you have nation states and governments that are starting to stack Bitcoin. This is just the beginning. It's only at like 76,000 right now. And I say only per coin, but it can be broken into 100 million units per coin. So that means when you buy Bitcoin $50 at a time, $100 at a time, you're, you think about it like this, whatever you start investing today in 10 years could easily be a hundred times what you're putting in today. You're talking about being able to store wealth. If you, if you try to buy things right now or put money in the bank, that wealth is going to dissipate year by year 
because of inflation, which is a hidden tax on the American people. That's going to keep happening. I don't think they're going to solve it. I could be wrong. I hope I'm wrong. But the only way they can solve it is through Bitcoin, a national strategic reserve of Bitcoin, back the dollar with Bitcoin. That remains to see if that it remains to be seen if that's going to happen. But you personally can take control. You can take the keys to your own kingdom. So if you're lost in despair and you feel like you have no power, you don't know what to do. I'm telling you, man, research Bitcoin, uh, at least set yourself up financially for the future. A decade from now, you're young. 15 years from now, you're young. You're going to see a massive difference in your in your financial situation if you start taking charge now. End of rant. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to contact me via the uh, the, the comments. E email us, whatever you need to do. I am here. I'll be happy to be a resource for you. I'll put a link to my book in the description below. And I hope that you... Uh, I hope that you take a look at it. Bitcoin Utopia, the global financial revolution you cannot afford to ignore. And uh, of course, my pin name is Constant Cash. I have a website called Constant Cash. Yeah, so check it out and have a wonderful day.